Hi. Hello students, today we will learn uh, the method uh, for the numerical optimization, the parabolic interpolation, okay? So uh, let us open the basic definition of the method. The parabolic interpolation takes advantage of the fact that a second order polynomial often provides a good approximation to the shape of the function f of x near an optimum. Okay, now what is this optimum? The maximum or the minimum, the optimal value. Okay, now uh, when we use the parabolic interpolation in simple words, uh, three data points will be given to you. You will evaluate the function at the three data points, okay? So you have X and Y values at three data points. And with the help of this, you will obtain the fourth data point, X3. And using the function, you can obtain F of X3, okay? And you will, you'll keep doing that till you reach the optimal value, okay? And now the question is that, uh, for example, I've started with three data points and I've obtained the fourth data point. So I will now select uh, the best three data points from these four data points, and then I will go to the next iteration. Now, a very important question is that, which four data points shall I select to go to the second iteration? Let us understand it with the help of an example. For uh, simplicity, I have typed an algo for this x3, okay? I will call this x3 xe. All right, so now here you can see that I have uh, kept in my mind that whenever I do the parabolic interpolation, I have always got a polynomial of second order, okay? So I have shared these handouts with you and you can go through these handouts uh, to figure out uh, the, the, you know, like the background of this algorithm. But in fact, what is happening students, I have got A, B, C, which are depending on uh, the data points, okay? For example, X1, X2, X3 is given to you. Then F of X1, F of X2, F of X3, you will obtain, okay, from the given function formula okay and then you will obtain the coefficients a b c now you will have a parabolic uh, equation a x square plus b x plus c okay which is the parabolic approximation to the given function okay and then x e is the optimal value the maximum or the minimum of the given function all right, so these are the four important uh, uh, values that we need to evaluate when we want to apply the parabolic optimization technique on a given data. Now, the first step is to prepare a M file, okay? So I have prepared an M file for you. Here I have typed A, B, C, the coefficients of my new polynomial, ax square plus bx plus c. Remember that t is a dummy variable. I have used here this t because I wanted to uh, do some sketching. We will come to line number nine and 10 in a minute. Let us start from line number one. What is happening here? Uh, let me type the data here. Let's say that the data given to you is zero, one, and four all right and the function given to you is x square by 10 minus 2 sine x now your teacher has asked you to find the optimum value for this function at the given data point 0 1 4 all right and uh, you will be using the parabolic optimization technique 
this is the given information. The next step is to keep in mind that for the parabolic interpolation, if we know the formula for A, B, C, and X, E as given in the book and the notes, okay, Stephen C. Chapra's book, you can follow. So with the help of these coefficients, you can obtain the polynomial, which is the uh, parabolic polynomial, and you can obtain the optimal value with the help of the three given data points, 0, 1, and 4. Okay, so what will happen next? So line number one is about the given data, two is about the given function, three till seven is about the coefficients of the polynomial. Line number eight is about the optimal value. And line number nine is about the plotting. Okay, for uh, line number for the graph, I want to sketch everything. I want to visualize where the maximum or the minimum is. To visualize something, I uh, only three data points are not appropriate. So I have made a rough interval, I've said from zero, till five and because zero is the starting value so something before zero so let me say minus 0 0.5 all right and i have 100 data points between minus 0 0.5 and five okay so this is the meaning of line number nine now line number 10, I have developed a parabola with the help of these coefficients a, b, and c. So I can now plot it using the inputs uh, t and the function a t square plus b t plus c. Okay, now h is the given function, but I have typed it here again because f was using x as the input, whereas h is using t as the input. Next, I want to plot this the results. So I will say that tg means that the parabola, the new approximation using parabolic uh, uh, interpolation optimization for optimization. Okay, so tg with the red color, th, h is the actual function, the given function in blue color. I want to compare whether my approximation is close to the real function or not. X, f, f is my given function, but now I want to plot the three data points on the given uh, graphs, okay? Because these are only the three points and here I have 100 data points. So I have given it a green color and static to um, highlight the given data points on the graph, okay? Now here I have XE. XE is the optimal value that I have obtained from the parabolic optimization, okay? From this formula. Uh, from the given formula here, from this formula, okay, or from this formula, okay. So next I have here my M file ready and this optimal value and the functional value at this optimal point, okay. And I have given it a color, blue color, okay. Now let us run the file. And students here, you can see that A, B, C are the coefficients of the um, uh, given function, okay? Uh, and now you have uh, F here. These are the functional values, X squared by 10 minus two sine X. And A, B, C are the coefficients of the parabola that we have made, okay, using the interpolation, okay? And we have done it for the optimization to find the optimal value. Now my optimal value is 1.5055. Let us take a look at the graph. I can see here that on my graph, I can see the green color, okay? The three data points, these were given to me, zero, one, and four. And here I have obtained my data point, 1.506. Now, the answer to the question of today's discussion is that, which data points am I going to select? I will select these three data points, which are very close to the optimal value. So here I have zero, here I have one, and here I have 1.5055. Now you can see four is far away from 1.505. So discard this data point. Now update your M file 
Okay, and instead of a four, I'm going to type 1.5055 up to four decimal places. Let us run the code again. Now on the graph, I can see that now the data points are more close to the region where actually the graph has got its optimal value. That is the minimum value for this function. So now students, we will uh, edit the data here on the graph paper. I will say that my starting value is zero. So let me just say uh, zero or minus 0 0.01 to uh, visualize things, uh, I am going to edit the lens space command. Now 1.5055, so I will write, let's say two. Okay, this is the ending point. So, and then can you see here students, this is the optimal value 1.4809 that I have obtained with the help of the formula XE that is uh, always used in the literature for the parabolic interpolation for the optimization. All right, so now let us go to the graph. Can you see here, students? You can see here that these are now my uh, data points, 0, 0, and then here, 1 and minus 1.583. And these two values are very close to each other, right? Uh, the blue color is the optimal one, and the green color is the input given to you. OK, now, students, we will again select these data points and discard the one that is far away. Okay, so this data point is, uh, we are planning to discard it. So remove zero and one, one point and keep, uh, keep in mind that we will not disturb the order. Okay, one and then 1.4809 and 1.5055. Okay, now edit your axis, x axis as well. Now my starting value is one, therefore I'm going to start with 0 0.8 or something close to one, and I will stop at 1.5, so I'm going to stop at 1.6, okay? In the neighborhood of the boundaries of the given data points, okay? For better uh, graphical interpretation. Now let us look at the graph. Here you can see the three data points. Again, you have got three, uh, the cluster of three data points here near the optimal value of this graph. And this data point is far, so I will discard it. So uh, this time I'm going to uh, select 1.4257 from the uh, results. Okay, 1.4257, I will write it here, One point. 1.4257 and I will remove this. Okay, now let us run it. Can you see students? Again, we are very, very close to the optimal value 1.4276, okay. So I hope now you understand uh, the method very well and now you will do the homework and please send me your results up to four to five iterations okay thank you